What's going on everyone? Nos Cards with another episode here. I'm Nick and we're going to be opening up some more Pokemon cards today. Hope you guys are doing great and feeling great. Um, today we have a mixture of things. Uh, we have a couple tens, a mini ten, a couple special or I guess one special uh, tournament box and some uh, just other random packs. So uh, before we move forward please hit that like and subscribe button and we will be on our way. All right, everyone, uh, again, like I said earlier, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, today, as I mentioned earlier, we have a little bit of everything. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you real fast. So we have a Shining Fates uh, Cramorant box here with six packs in it. We have this GX Tag Team 10 uh, that we'll go through that I believe has four packs in it. We have this mini tin right here with two packs and a coin. This Chilling Rain build and battle box, which is usually done for pre-release. Um, two random packs, and this one actually came like this, opened. I haven't seen what's on the inside of it, but uh, hasn't clearly wasn't uh, sealed. So, curious to see what's in this. And then we have the special premium tournament collection box from Marnie that has seven packs in it, uh, as well as um, a special full art card uh that is uh, i think technically a promo so we're just gonna rip into all of these today so i think there's about 25 packs so i don't want to waste too much time um i think the first thing we're going to look at is this build and battle box again this is usually for pre-release stuff um and this was for the set of chilling rain what comes in here is a 23 card i think deck so if you are looking to uh, actually play the game these build and battle boxes are pretty good um, especially because it comes with new cards so this build and battle box again has torn about 23 cards i believe four packs of chilling rain as well as a, a code card so just so you guys have a good idea of what this stuff looks like we're just gonna try to rip into it. This is actually my very first one that I've ever opened and I want to be as delicate with it as possible. Um, just to see if I can save the box, but if not, then that's okay too. And it's looking like probably not. I just ripped it open right here, so no worries. Sorry, box. And here we are. So, it comes with it looks like a card list, which we won't bother getting into. And here we are. So we have this 23 pack card list and it comes with one of four special uh, promo cards um, that have this Chilling Rain stamp on it. And ours looks like is the Ascender Ace. Um, so I won't go through these, I'll actually leave this sealed up. Um, and here are the four packs of Chilling Rain that we'll go through and then we'll also open up this one, probably last, and we'll go ahead and throw this Sword and Shield one in there as well. So let's just go ahead and see what we got here. Now with Chilling Rain, you're looking for the Legendary Birds and you're looking for the alternate arts as well as some other ones that are pretty cool. So here's that code card for you guys. Um, so many cards in this set with other sets as well and it's just too many cards to keep track of um, but pretty much any full art or alternate art is what we're going to be looking for and what I'm going to be happy if we pull um, so we got a ladybug and our first hit of the day is a shadow rider uh, calyrex v card which is pretty good way to start off the video with a bang um, so not a bad card at all uh, there's a VMAX version of this that looks pretty cool, so we'll try to pull that, but we have our first hit of the day. Very nice stuff. Moving right along. There you guys go. So yeah, um, a lot of packs to open today so if I don't call out all the cards that I normally do that's why there's a lot of stuff to open and we're going to try to get through it as much as possible uh, for Fro and we have a Galarian Slow King Holographic. 
so yeah, I know I haven't posted in a while. Um, just kind of been super, super busy, probably like everybody else. Um, so I know that I have another video that I'm going to be uploading here soon. Um, I don't know, depending on where we are at, if that's going to be a collection video of all the cards that I have amassed, or if it's going to be another um, just opening video like the ones I have done so far. Um, so stay tuned, we'll find out. Your guess is as good as mine, depending on the schedule. There's a reboot, reverse hollow, and a slur puff. All right, guys. So this build and battle box uh, is not not too shabby. Not too shabby. Again, this is usually a pre-release, so before the set actually comes out, it usually comes out like a week or two beforehand. And um, it's just good if you're trying to build a deck with the new cards in this set. So. Give it a shot. Other uh, sets have this as well. So, yeah, by all means, if you can find them, grab them. They're fun to open. Um, and you never know what you might get. So, we have a Glare in your Mask, Reverse Hollow, and an Aggron. So, it looks like we only really had that one hit from that build and battle uh, box. So, not too bad. And here we go with the other two cards, or packs, sorry. Um, we'll go ahead and open up the Sword and Shield. And then we will move on to that Chilling Rain one, which wasn't even sealed all the way, which again was kind of weird, but no worries. So we have Energy, Berry, Hyper Potion, Kingler, Ghastly, Clubfuss, Joltik, Wulu, Sizzlepeat, Reverse Hollow, and a Clay Doll. All right, and here is that back that was not sealed. So let's see if we can, without ripping it, because again, this doesn't really happen that often. We, oops. Okay. Hopefully we didn't damage any cards. There you guys go. And I don't remember what this is from. I think I did it from a, a box that I opened up uh, a little while ago and just never got around to it. But uh, hopefully it's something good, you know? Um, so we got Spiel, Atina, Rock Ruff, a Golette, and looks like it got stamped at the top. Hopefully the back card isn't. And we got a Volcanion V. Okay, so we got our second hit of the day. Just a nice little V card, you know, nothing too special. We're looking for any, you know, V Maxes, rainbows, alternate arts, full arts, things of that nature. So. Not bad, not bad. If you guys saw the uh, the card beforehand, it has the the ridges right here. It means that they tried to to stamp it, but I think this got in the way to get it closed. So not stamped, but sealed rather. So happens from time to time when they're trying to pump out a lot of cards, which Pokemon Company definitely has. So not a shock there. Um, next thing we're gonna open up is this little mini tin, and then I think we'll hit the Marnie uh, Premium Tournament Collection. So. Not too, not too bad with the uh, two cards that we got, but nothing special either. So this 10 has that coin. Artwork of Sable there, who looks very sad. And we got two packs. Uh, looks like a basic sword and shield, and behind it is a base sun and moon pack. So we'll go ahead and throw this stuff right back in there, set it up out of the way. And we'll go ahead and look at these. Alright, here we go. So we got Fire Energy, Professor Energy, Go Bats. So yeah, again, trying to go through this as fast as possible. Reverse Golbat and a Butterfree, so nothing really out of that. And with the Sword and Shield, so yeah, a lot of things to go through. I'm really excited for that Marnie box just to see what's in it. I know there's a cool Marnie card in there, so pretty stoked about that. And then with the, uh, the Shining Fate stuff, we're definitely going to try to uh, go after that VMAX Charizard, so uh, Reverse Hollow Drizzle, and behind it, we have a Oranguru Holographic. So, now that those two are out of the way, here is this Marnie 
box. Again, there's like seven packs in here, amongst other things. So, we got this. I think it's a card carrier. Oh. Let's see here. We got some sleeves, it looks like, from Marnie. We got some dice. So it's kind of like a uh, Elite Trainer box, it kind of looks like. Got a code card, and there is that Marnie card I was mentioning. We'll open that up here in a second. Actually, you know what? We'll keep that. We'll keep that sleeve for now, just for the sake of time. But cool-looking promo card. Um, just Marnie centering looks pretty good from what I can tell. Maybe a little bit more on the top than the bottom, but we won't really get into that. Here we have the card case, the card carrier, and I believe are the seven packs. So. Let's go ahead and put this stuff in here. Oops. Having a hard time. We'll probably edit this out of the video. Okay. So we got seven packs in here. Let's take a quick look. So we got a vivid voltage pack. Very nice. Darkness of Blaze, Battle Styles, Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain, and Chilling Rain. All right, so I think we will open it up in that order. We'll do Chilling Rain first and go from there. So we got Leaf Energy, Kakuna Matata, Flannery, Rugged Helmet, Score Bunny, Aaron, Snow Runt, Venipede, Snover, Weeding Gloves, Reverse Hollow, and a Bayonet Rare. Well, so far, only got two hits out of everything we've opened, which not not shocking. Not shocking at all. There you guys go. Four. Lightning Energy, Drizzle, Peony, Caitlin, Galarian Slowpoke, Weedle, Global Puss, Mareep, Raltz, and Malamar. Normal. So I don't know if I've said this in previous videos, but Chilling Rain, since it's been out, has been dubbed Chilling Pain. The reason for that is because the hits. Oh. Ouch. The hits in this set are extremely hard. And if this is a nice card, I mean, look at that. Look at the whiting on that. That's just awful. It happens. Even pack fresh cards, it happens. And that's just, that's rough. So hopefully it's not an alternate art or anything that we really, really want. Because that will just be disappointing. But uh, hey, we'll take what we can get, even if it's uh, beat up pretty bad. Um, so we got Flaffy, here we go. Okay, Porygon Z Holographic, not bad. I will, uh, I say not bad because if that was a full art or anything special that we were trying to go after, that would have just broken my heart right there because all that whiting, so good thing it was just a hollow. All right, next to Battle Styles. I know we're running through quick, my apologies, but just for the sake of time, we just got a lot of cards, a lot of things to open. So here we go. Water energy, Weeping Bell, by Sharp, Cheryl, Rimmer Raid, Zubat, Look at Tongue, Yamper, Scatterbug, Bronzer, Reverse Hollow, and an Eggy Slash. And for the next battle styles, probably some more of the same, because battle styles was pretty hard to hit stuff as well. Here we are. Fire, Luxio, Energy, Level Ball, Zubat, Lickitung, Yamper, Scatterbug, Galarian Mr. Mime, King Jerva vs. Hollow, and a Rabbit Strike, Luxray. That could be a cool looking card. Sweet. Okay, and we are down to two the Vivid Voltage and this Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze. Really only has like one chase card and it's the VMAX Charizard. I actually already have one, 
But if we pull another one, well, I will not complain. Uh, I think there's also a VMAX Salamence in here too. So we got Water Energy, Soul Rock, Energy again, Cape of Toughness, ooh, Rowlet, Cub Chew, Aeron, Starly, Purloin, Zanisti, and Talonflame. All right, so with the last pack out of the Marnie box, the only thing so far that's been great out of this box has been the Marnie promo card itself. Everything else, we haven't touched anything. So we got Vivid Voltage. The cool thing about Vivid Voltage is it has that rainbow Pikachu, which again, I believe I told you guys in previous videos, but I already do have that one. Um, and it also has the VMAX Pikachu, and uh, I think that's really the only two cards that people go after. Uh, there's also some amazing rare cards, which I believe I already have all three, or the, sorry, six. Um, but cool set. Uh, Ninkata, Kakuna, and we got a Leon card. Uh, Leon Holographic. There's also a full art card of him, uh, which takes up the whole card, and there's also a rainbow version of him too, which is really a uh, good pull to have as well. So, um, so far, nothing out of that Marty box. So uh, I know it was my experience. I forgot to show you guys the uh, the Marty coin right here, but uh, that was pretty much it. Kind of disappointing. I didn't know what to really expect from that, but uh, that wasn't it. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, I know we keep going through this rapid run here, uh, but our next thing is this GX10. And it, I believe, only has four cards, but it has this really cool Bulbous, sorry, not Bulbasaur, um, this really cool Venusaur and Celebi card, which is uh, the promo card for this 10. And it's really, really cool. Look at all this space. Four packs and that, and nothing else. Don't know what they were thinking, uh, but hey, that's all good. So we'll take a quick look and sleeve up the Celebi and Venusaur card, because it just looks pretty cool. Code card for y'all. All right, so here's this card. Not bad, right? Centering on it looks pretty darn good. And same with it on the back. So we'll just go ahead and sleeve this up. And then we will just dive right into those packs. And then we'll finish up with the Shining Fates. So there you guys go. Nice little metal trinket. And here are the four packs. And we'll just go ahead and put the trash over yonder. Get this stuff out of the way. And there are our four packs. So we got Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, which is good, uh, Sun and Moon, and Steam Siege. So the only good one is maybe that burning shadows because there's a Charizard in there that's pretty cool and then just Sun and Moon so we'll just go ahead and hop right to it Oops. there you guys are so we got energy so far Today's just been kind of a disappointing day. Um, aside from the two V cards, the only other things that we have seen. Oh, that's a cool looking Pikachu. Not bad. Um, the only other things we have really seen are the promo cards from the 10 and that Marnie. Everything else has just been kind of, eh. A couple of holographics here and there, but nothing too special, so. We'll see what happens. There's always last pack magic. You never know. That always likes to pop up every once in a while. Uh, so we got a Litwick, Meowth. Cool. Um, so this is actually a uh, a Breakpoint card. Um, it's actually my first one, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so this is a Hydreigon um, Breakpoint card. Oops. Um, and I don't know much about them to be honest with you. I know that the centering is off on this and needs to more, go more to the left. Um, but I know that these are kind of popular 
um, you know, with the Breakpoint series as well as apparently Steam Siege. So sweet. It's uh, it's a nice looking card. Uh, <laughs> the centering on it though is way off. If you guys can kind of see, I mean, look at it from there. This whole border is out of <laughs> out of alignment, but um, not a bad card. Not a bad card. I'll take it. It's another hit that we'll take because we have gotten practically nothing so far, and I can't get this sleeve open. Apologize for technical difficulties on the operator of this video. Okay, so we got two more packs left, and then we're gonna dive into those Shining Fates packs, which have always treated us pretty good. So, still excited about that. There you guys are. So, fire. Let's see, you got a Corsola, Trumby, Capopolio, Zubat, Shelder. Young Goose, Paris, Boulder Reverse Hollow, and a Beware. Okay, and the Burning Shadows pack. Let's see if we can pull something nice out of here. There you guys go. Alright, we got Lightning, Curlia. I'm gonna say it's Tormenting Spray, Wimpod, Vulpix, Meowth, Riolu, Surviper, Reverse Hollow, and we got nothing. <sighs> we went through a lot of packs, guys. That was a lot. And just to kind of give you a refresher, I guess we'll do it at the end of the video as well. Only thing we've gotten. So that's the promo card, which is sick. And these two V cards, the Calyrex V and the Volcanion V. So not too good today, not too good, but hopefully our luck changes with this Cramorant V-Box because it's Shining Fates and Shining Fates has always, always treated us well, always. So we'll take a quick look at the Cramorant card. Whoop. There it is, nice shiny full art card. Here is the code card for you guys. Boop. And there we go. Again, having technical difficulties with these sleeves, but it's all good. So, there is that Cramorant card. So, we got six packs of Shining Fates, and then we're going to call it a day. So, thank you guys so much so far for watching, even though it hasn't been that glorious, I do apologize, but uh, sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. <sighs> so, here are our final six packs, seven, six, six, and we're just going to dive into right away and hope that we get some crazy goodness out of these, because who doesn't want good cards? I know I do. All right, here we go for the seventh inning stretch. We got Psychic Energy, Arata, Floatzel, Tropius, Weasel, Yanma, Trampinch, Shinx, Rowlet, a Frostmoth Shiny. Awesome, already got a hit from the first pack. This is why everybody likes Shining Fates. And we have a Manaphy. All right. Any Shiny card, I always sleep. So, good stuff. On to the next one. Alrighty, guys. There you go. And we have Energy. Rusted Sword, Luxio, Thwacky, Toodle, Morpeko, Cacnea, Horsey, Cufant, Team Yell, Tower Rivers Hollow, and a Galarian Weezing. There you guys go. Alright, so we got that. Thwacky, Gym Trainer, Floatzel, Rowlet, 
Morpeko, Nickit, Eevee, Gossifleur, Reverse Hollow Eevee, and a Celebi non holographic. Next, we got Leaf Energy. Rusted Shield, Ball Guy, Float Soul, Cufant, Toodle, Yanma, Morpeko, Eevee, Reverse Hollow, and another Manaphy. Man, not gonna lie, Shining Fates is kinda letting us down too. We only got one hit from that 10. Hmm. Color me surprised. Alright. Maybe we'll have second to last pack magic, or last pack magic. I'll take either or, I am not picky. And we are off. We got Lightning Energy, Dartrix, Luxio, Team Yeltao, Yanma, Coughing, Morpeko, Horsey, Spinarak, a Grappolox Shiny, which we will definitely take. That thing looks sick. Huh. And Professor's Research. Awesome, awesome. So that is our second hit of this 10. Good stuff. All right, y'all. Here is the last pack. The Charizard. I always save the Charizard pack art for last because I'm superstitious. Even though it hasn't really worked out for me. But uh, it's only crazy if it doesn't work. So eventually I hope it does work. But for now, I guess I'm crazy. Here we go for some last pack magic. Hopefully it's that Charizard. Been searching for it for a while now, as you guys have known, because it's been well documented throughout this channel. So here is to hoping that that card right here is it. Here we go. We have a Water Energy, a Team Yell Towel, Tropius, a Gym Trainer, Gossifleur, Yanma, Shnom Shnom, Cufant, Grookey, Floatzel, and a Dreadnought. Man. Well, guys, thanks for sticking with me. We ran through about 25 packs, I believe. And out of the 25, we got hits on the Grappolock Shiny, which you just saw. The Frostmoth Shiny that you just saw. Cramorant doesn't count because it's a promo. Volcanion V. Calyrex V. This breakpoint card, and then this is also a promo, plus the Marnie promo. So really, out of the 25 packs we opened today, only five technical hits. So we are batting 20%, solid 200 today. But that's okay, because at least we got some stuff. There's been days where you get two or one or sometimes none. So you never can really know, but that's the, uh, that's the way we like to play the game. So. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It was kind of a disappointing video, so my apologies. But uh, again, that's kind of how the way things work. Um, but again, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, next video, again, is either gonna be a collection video. I know I've been kind of putting that off, um, but just kind of waiting for some cards to get back to me from, uh, from grading. Um, and then uh, I think we're just gonna kind of roll with uh, Evolving Skies that's coming out here pretty soon, or I should, not say that it's already out uh, we're gonna uh, roll with uh, evolving skies here shortly as well and trying to go after the cards in that set and then i know in october we have the 25th anniversary celebration set coming out so stay tuned for that as well but until next time guys thank you so much and again don't forget to hit that like and subscribe take care 